and and this like your conversations change your posture changes like people are like who's that and i'm like guys it's me you should already know this <laughs> Hey lovelies, it's Lisa here. Hope you're good, hope you're great. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa and I create content, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, <laughs> self-care. It's just, you guys already know, this is like my visual scrapbook. It's just me storytelling through visual content. It's a little over here. Go ahead, subscribe if you wanna join the fam. If you're not new here, then you know how we be, you know how we do. Welcome back and let's get right on into today's video. So to say I love fragrance so much, it's so crazy that this is my first fragrance video. You guys know that I love to talk about my fragrances. You guys know I love to layer fragrances. I'm always putting you guys onto the best fragrance combos. Follow me on Instagram, you know I do this on my stories. I've got a good perfume collection, fragrance collection. I feel like I'm gonna do a few of these videos, maybe every of the month also my top 10 fragrances or whatever or if you guys have some fragrances that you want me to try don't hesitate to leave that down in the comment and then i'll go ahead and buy it and try for you guys so yeah this is my most complimented fragrances slash just a few must have fragrances for your collection these fragrances are gonna leave you smelling amazing i am a firm believer in your fragrance should announce you before you even announce yourself i feel like your fragrance to speak for you i feel like fragrance is such a powerful and amazing tool that we have in the beauty industry that it just plays a huge role the same way with i believe like you should dress how you want to be addressed is the same way i kind of feel with fragrances you know when you look good and you smell good the way people speak to you is different three top compliments i love the most are something just praising the work or anything i've created two you look good like um your hair looks good or your outfit looks good three you smell amazing and sometimes even if i feel like i look like trash when i just smell and clean up good i just i'm that girl okay <laughs> so first up we have lancome le vie Evel. i hope i'm pronouncing these properly as you guys have probably kind of noticed i have a yorkshire accent it's not that strong because i'll get into that later but nevertheless i love my yorkshire accent leads go you know how we be but anyways um we have lancome la vie Evel. i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not french so if i'm butchering it i absolutely apologize however this right here is lancome's best selling feminine fragrance and not just the smell but the reason why i love it so much is because this fragrance is actually inspired by the idea of natural simple beauty and also just finding the joy in simple things like in the simple things of life and i feel like that is just so amazing i love fragrances that have a whole story to tell that have a whole persona and i feel like this fragrance right here i literally have another one on my <laughs> on my like little fragrance collection dresser i actually got given this to me as a gift this is like the perfect gift to get me guys really got it for me shout out to you girl but anyways this fragrance definitely in my top three fragrances of all time it is such a timeless fragrance it goes really well in the summer in the winter um during the day and at night and this is one of the fragrances that i actually don't need to layer i love layering fragrances but if there's one fragrance that i'm just gonna wear and wear it on its own it's definitely gonna be this one the top notes are pear and blackberry i think some of the heart notes include orange blossom and jasmine and the base notes for this one is heart of patchouli essence hope i said that right <laughs> but yeah this is a very subtle yeah it's not too loud however when you let me just hold on let me go and get ahead and spray this yeah this is a very it's for the elevated lady definitely it is in the floral family but it's not too sweet i think that's because of the jasmine that's coming in a little bit so of course the top notes being pear and blackberry you can kind of smell that off the um you can kind of smell that straight away um very fruity but i feel like as the fragrance settles in and the aroma really starts to um i don't know what i don't know what words to use i would say the aroma starts to develop and mature um throughout the day or throughout the time that you're wearing it it really evolves into this beautiful just a 
powerful scent i absolutely love it absolutely love it it's best recommended to spray this on your pulse points and do not rub in your fragrance guys because when you rub it one it doesn't last as long and two it also gives off a different effect because it would have mixed with the natural oils of your body and stuff like that the way the fragrance is received by other people as well as yourself tends to be a lot different to if you just like sit on the skin like this as you guys can see sit on the skin like this and allow it to evaporate and just to um aerate is that is that the right term i'm not sure if that's the right term but just to sort of give off that aroma throughout the time that you're wearing it so i would definitely recommend this i absolutely love her love her love her love her and yeah by the way guys i am going to put links in the description box for each and every single perfume that i'm going to mention in this video some of the links are affiliate links however i should have probably said this at the beginning of the video i do have a 21 percent discount on look fantastic so i'm gonna see if i can get most of these links on look fantastic so you guys can actually get 20 i know it's 21 percent off but it's just so long to say so just to get about 21 percent off that is huge especially when it comes to fragrance guys you can get a good like 10 or 12 pounds or 15 pounds off even 20 pounds off your perfume now you will notice that most of these bottles that i'm showing you if not all are probably going to be 30 ml or 50 ml and that is because i feel like that is the best reasonable sized bottle when you are building a perfume collection buying the biggest bottle is not always the best idea i know people tend to say you know it's gonna last longer and so on however i feel like getting 30 and 50 mil very much budget friendly but also being able to provide yourself with luxurious scents you're not losing out on too much money if you don't really like the scent too much and if you lay a scents like me they actually last quite a long time because you're not fully spritzing yourself with one perfume you might do one scent on your wrists and another scent behind your ears and just that um the aromas that they give off together um complement each other really well and you don't actually have to spray too much perfume i'm gonna put you i feel like i should do another video on like how i apply my um fragrances like body oils that i use and other things like that but anyway next up we have victor and rolf's iconic flower bomb perfume the experience of this fragrance is described to be a sort of transportation to a floral fantasy it just sounds so cute because i love floral scents i'm a floral scent babe definitely has to have vanilla in there a bit of musk i'm a like floral slash musk woody scent babe but um flower bomb is always such 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 an amazing perfume this is like an all-rounder and i actually use this as a topper for my um for my layered fragrance days i usually spray this on top because it smells amazing on any scent i usually spray it on top of like more woody scents because it is floral but because it has warm woody undertones it blends seamlessly and really well with other woody scents um let me just spray this <sighs> yeah i feel like with this one this is perfect for everyone this is such an all-rounder you guys can see it has literally been used and abused look at this bottle <laughs> and again this is the 30 ml like i was telling you guys i think it's about 40 pounds ish but obviously with my discount you'll get money off as well but this is such an iconic fragrance for me i feel like when i discovered this perfume i myself leveled up <laughs> this is in the fruity floral and oriental um scent family pretty much an all-rounder for the girl who really wants to make a statement but it's still super feminine as well this is definitely um i liked how they describe it as like a floral fantasy because i'm not gonna lie this is a very enticing scent every time i've worn it it's always what are you wearing it's always mm. and i'm like yeah that's me <laughs> So I absolutely love this one. I feel like this is just perfect. And the way I actually lay this is I actually spray this behind the ears right here and on the center of my chest right here. So when people speak to me, this is what is really like coming across to people. It's a big statement, guys. Try it out. If you have this perfume, try it out and let me know what people say when you wear it out. The top notes are tea, bergamot, and freesia. I think that's how you say it. I know that some of the heart notes are jasmine and I think it's catalia orchid. That is another strong floral scent. 
it is absolutely lovely and i feel like as this fragrance develops throughout the day or throughout the evening where whenever you're wearing it it really unfolds into a into a personality almost it's super floral and girly like when you initially smell it but as it really like simmers down and really sets in it just gives off this aroma that is very sexy like it's very I, I don't I don't know but I know what I'm talking about guys it's it's sort of like if I could describe it as a personality this is the girl who she has her ish together okay like you are never gonna see this girl crack type of vibe like but she's like the nicest girl ever but do not play with her basically yeah <laughs> and i think the main base note is amber which i absolutely love any fragrance has a base or a heart note of jasmine amber um musk vanilla count me in just count me in just buy it for me i don't really care what else is in there just buy that for me because that's what really comes out once the floral scent has kind of like simmered down um so yeah i would say this is a very good investment and you will not be disappointed next up we have one of my faves i'm not gonna lie I think oh i would say i haven't even said her name <laughs> I, li I literally haven't even said her name but we have a good girl by carolina herrera and can i just say this fragrance is outstanding i absolutely love her i am in love with her <laughs> i feel like this perfume let me spray this perfume quickly yeah this when i wear this whether i'm layering it or whether I'm wearing it on its own. I think I have gotten so many compliments. Every time I wear it, I get complimented every time I'm wearing it. Even if I'm wearing it in the house. People be like, who's that? And I'm like, guys, it's me. You should already know this. <laughs> getting into the description of this perfume it is said to to be a fragrance that captures the duality of the modern woman which i personally feel like is such a bold way to describe a perfume the modern woman i feel like in a sense most of my viewers most of you guys um i myself included would definitely be somewhat in the category of the modern woman the modern woman isn't just someone who's up with the times i would say the modern woman to me is someone who is elevated someone who is someone who is independent someone who is bold someone who is successful not only that but someone who's also soft and in her soft girl era and someone who's also so feminine yet so bold like i feel like the modern woman is a woman who can be all of these things in one and still exude excellence like that is the best way I can describe what the modern woman means to me. I feel like I'm doing a speech. <laughs> this fragrance, absolute all-rounder. The classic stiletto design absolutely exudes everything that this woman is. I feel like this is the woman who wears the stiletto court shoes in the boardroom full of men, but still owns that whole place. Like, it, like that is the type of woman this is this is also the woman who she works all week but on the weekend you're gonna see her in a stiletto like it's the stiletto for me very edgy such a statement i feel like um i'm going off on a tangent because i absolutely love this and i'm currently advocating for this right now <laughs> but the description of this is absolutely spot on i've never seen a description that was so spot on for a perfume and it's definitely this so the top note of this is almond and i feel like that's why i like it so much it does not smell nutty guys but the top note is almond it's very i would say dense it's a very dense fragrance however remember this is just a top note and it does last about 5 to 15 minutes and as that evaporates it really um shows off the heart and the base notes which i'm gonna get into now one of the main heart notes is jasmine which i feel like again is why i love it and the base notes are tonka bean and cocoa just makes sense it's giving powdery it's like powdery and dense it's not floral at all but it is very feminine if you're looking to elevate your perfume collection and you need something a little bit different than what you're used to but you want something that's reliable definitely get this this is like an all-rounder like anyone any who anyone who has this will absolutely tell you like that's why mine is about to finish as you guys can see it's literally like there 
I am gonna order another one right after filming this video. <laughs> I love absolutely everything that she stands for. Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Fragrance by Rihanna herself. Guys, look how cute this bottle. Fenty, Fenty Beauty were so kind enough to send me out this bottle. And not only that, they engraved my initials on it. Can you guys see that it says L and M? I believe you might actually be able to get this service done in Selfridges, but I'm gonna double check with you guys and put in the comments or description box somewhere. But um, you should be able to get this done somewhere. I feel like it's such a lovely time touch so getting into this fragrance now i feel like this bottle is very bold it is literally like direct in your face but i feel like it's also very soft this has like this brown warm almost cinnamony chocolatey type of brown with this type of glass bottle and the hints of gold i feel like it is just, it is very much an evening scent. It's like an evening scent. It's like we're setting the mood for tonight's scent. Not only that, the bottle's design was designed to fit directly in the palm of the hand. Like it fits so, you guys know how naturally your hands are like this when they're rested, you know. As soon as you put it in like this, look at that, that's insane. I never even thought of that, but um, that's insane. I absolutely love that touch i would have never thought of that <laughs> but yeah this fragrance is very bold it's like a hey i stepped in the room and you're gonna look at me okay in the words of rihanna herself she said this exudes everything i feel everything i am and everything i want to be and i feel like that is just so amazing because rihanna is just that girl so if this exudes everything she is and everything she wants to be imagine the kind of scent it is and imagine how this introduces you when you walk in the room so on the description of this fragrance it's said to be a deeply intimate and complex fragrance which i feel like already that is like i feel like these are words that are given to like someone who's about to write a storyline for the best love drama movie ever okay and this is because it's said to have a vibrant raw spicy and sweet scent all at the same time and when i read this i was like oh my days that is worded perfectly because that's exactly what it smells like it's like all of them put together it's i don't know how to explain it keynotes that were on the fenty website are magnolia musk tangerine and bulgarian rose and this makes sense because the tangerine definitely brings out the citrusiness and i feel like that is the main scent that i can smell however the musk really makes this a very powerful fragrance the bulgarian rose i think maybe that's what brings in the sweetness tied in with the tangerine it's it's just it's such an intricate smell now i usually layer this actually with my lancome la vie abel because that is such a floral feminine and sweet scent so i usually put this as my base and then i put the lancome on top and let me tell you guys there there is an amazing thing that happens when you're wearing these two <laughs> the lancome like again is very much feminine you are that girl and as the lancome starts to evaporate and also mix with the fenty fragrance a spiciness and a sort of rawness just comes out and like it's, it's just such a best way i can describe it is like let's say if you are drinking a glass of wine and you're like two glasses in there's a different vibe you get do you get what i'm saying when you first start off it's like you know you know you know and then when you get onto that second glass girl you'll be there like mm and and this like your conversations change your posture changes like that's what that combination gives so if you ever have both of them try the lancome la vie belle and the fenty beauty perfume so it also says on the description that it's finished with unexpected touches of vanilla and now this makes sense because i feel like the vanilla is very much there but it's like you i wouldn't have been able to put my finger on it and say okay this has vanilla in it but now that it says that it's sort of like i feel like this is definitely an experience this fragrance is very different from the usual feminine fragrances but it's super bold and it's again intimate and complex that alone tells you to buy it <laughs> Okay, so next up we have a chanel perfume and i feel like a lot of times people are like you know i want to get into wearing chanel but where do i start what do i buy what do i do because i would say the chanel fragrances are very they're very different and you have to pick the correct one for you basically when you start out wearing these fragrances so we have chanel gabrielle 
this is a pure floral scent this scent is described as oriental and its release date was actually in 2017 i got my first chanel gabrielle in 2018 and i remember i just felt like that girl okay um now the bottle of course is classic the creative direction behind the bottle actually has a super cool story as you guys can see i wish it was full but if you can see this design it has four points of light which mirror the bottle because i wish it was like full so you could see sitting on your dressing table it just looks so it looks so luxurious it looks so it just looks amazing it just looks so elegant and luxurious now the description of this is um actually based on the shape of the bottle and obviously the colors that are used so get into this four points to mirror light reflection one of the main scents in this is jasmine this is why i love it so much and it says it has a creamy enveloping of jasmine so in the way the bottle was designed it sort of looks like an envelope right here and here is the creamy middle of jasmine shining through the fragrance i feel like that was super cool and fresh and sparkling orange blossom shine through hence this golden orangey color that it has here i feel like the description of this was crafted to the t now with this fragrance i would use this as a topper mainly because the scent longevity on the spectrum it is moderate so it does last but i feel like you would need to maybe reapply this and i find that when wearing this is best applied on a coat or a jacket just because of the price point of this it is more expensive than all of the other ones i've shown you however it is still like the same size bottom with this generous amount on your clothes will take you a long way and then you can put on another fragrance underneath that's what i found works best because it lasts almost like it lasts forever on clothes but on your skin i feel like um the longevity of this is is definitely like a lot lower than the other ones if the angle has changed yeah my camera battery died but anyways let me just make one last little point because i've been rambling on for too long now <laughs> it does say on the fragrance description for creating the house of chanel coco was gabrielle a rebel at heart passionate and free which i feel like at some point we have all been this girl or we aspire to be that girl so i feel like a gabrielle is that girl so with that being said we have now come to the end of this video as you guys can tell i was super excited to get on here and do a fragrance video if you liked this video please let me know and i will continue doing them and yeah with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to use my discount code lisa lf on look fantastic for 21 percent off yeah this is not sponsored but i just have a discount code for them so i'm sharing it with you guys so you guys can also get money off um, and yeah i will see you guys in my very next video bye guys <laughs>